New details about the moments leading up to a violent tragedy. A mother and three of her children were murdered by her estranged husband. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live outside the growing memorial in Paradise Hills. Mimi, you've been looking into what options women have to keep themselves safe before they file a restraining order. And Kimberly, the district attorney tells me the most important thing that anyone can do is to have a plan already in place. Now, this mother tried to protect her children in that house where you see the candles lit over there by filing a restraining order one day before the family was killed. According to the medical examiner's report, the estranged husband, Jose Valdivia, arrived here to the home on Flint Ridge Drive with a handgun and began fighting with the mother, 29-year-old Sabrina Rosario. The medical examiner's report states that's when Valdivia shot Rosario in the head and neck, shot four of their children, then shot himself. One child did survive but remains in critical condition at Rady Children's Hospital. Now, Rosario filed a restraining order just one day before the brutal murders, outlining months of harassment and threats by Valdivia. Today, District Attorney Summer Steffen tells me the first 72 hours after filing a restraining order are the most crucial, and a plan needs to already be in place, including getting out of the home known to the suspect. In the first 72 hours after somebody obtains a restraining order, the risk is heightened. There is almost like an escalation of risk. What we say is for a victim to get a restraining order, but only after there has been a safety plan, there has been a threat assessment by professionals. Now, coming up new at 6, we're going to break down the shocking statistics of similar cases and tell you how families can protect themselves. For now, we're live in Paradise Hills. Mimi Alcala, 10 News.